application of derivatives in commerce and commerce and economics commerce and economics application of derivatives in commerce and application of derivative in commerce and economics first marginal cost marginal cost equal to ddx of cx marginal cost means ddx of cx total cost cx equal to very able cost plus fixed cost now variable cost is 2x square plus 5x plus 100 variable, variable part is with x this part is variable cost and this is fixed cost then you will get total cost now marginal cost mc equal to dx of cx this is cx 2x square plus 5x plus 100 now differentiation with respect to x 2 into dx of x square plus 5 into dx of x plus dx of 100 it will be power will be compressed and power will be decreased by 1 that means 2 2 minus 1 plus ddx of x means 1 and this is constant part of 0 that means it will be 4x plus 5 now if asked find marginal cost at x equal to 1 then it will be 4 into 1 plus 5 that means 9 unit marginal cost is 9 unit now total cost is variable cost plus fixed cost our marginal cost means dx of x of total cost then you will get marginal cost now average cost average cost equal to AC then you will get CX by output that means total cost by X total cost total cost by x here total cost is 2x square plus 5x plus 100 by x now both sides is equal by x that means 2x plus 5 plus 100 by x this is average cost now marginal average cost marginal average cost equal to 
ddx of average cost then ddx of 2x plus 5 plus 100 to the power x to the power minus 1 then it will be 2 plus 0 minus 100 by x square that means 2 minus 100 by x square this is what is strength at first you must remember average cost equal to cx by x that means total cost by output then you will get average cost here total cost is 2x square plus 5x plus 100 and output is x that means by x I will divide it individually 2x square by x that means 2x plus 5x by x means 5 plus 100 by x now marginal average cost it will be marginal marginal average average cost marginal cost average cost equal to dx of ac that means dx of 2x plus 5 plus 100, 100 it will be up 1 by x that means it's to the minus 1 now 2 into 1 2 derivative of any constant 0 minus it will come first minus it's to the power minus minus 1 means it's to minus 2 minus 1 by x it will be this this is the marginal cost now marginal revenue that means MR marginal revenue MR equal to x of Rx differentiation of Rx that means revenue function is called marginal revenue now MR equal um, Rx equal to output into demand function demand function output is x and this is say 2x square plus 5x plus 7 and it will be 2x cube plus 5x square plus 7 this is rx rx also it can be sp output is equal to x and demand function this one now marginal revenue equal to ddx of rx that means ddx rx that means 2x cube plus 5x square plus 7 It will be first that will be 2 into 3 6x square plus 10x and this is constant that means 0 it will be 6x square plus 10x at s equal to 2 then it means 6 into 2 square plus 10 into 2 24 plus 20 that means 44 unit this is called marginal revenue marginal revenue marginal revenue really x of marginal revenue uh, and marginal mr equal to the x of rx that is called marginal revenue R at first you find rx rx that means 
determinant function or put a determinant function x into this or sp sp that means sp now mr equal to 3x over x r is equal to 2x square plus 5x square plus 7 now it will be 6x square plus 10x plus 7 so it's constant that means it will be 0 and here have 2x cube that means 2 into 3 x to the power 3 minus 1 2 plus 5 into 10 x to the power 2 minus 1 here is given point at x equal to x equal to 2 that means put the value of x equal to 2 that means 2 into 2 square plus 10 into 2 24 24 plus 20 that means 44 unit this is the mr mr of a function okay